Hello and welcome to a new video about Promatics. This time we are still going to talk about valves. Last time we talked about a 4-2-way valve. This time we are going to talk about a 4-3-way valve. Up to now we only had puppet valves. Now we have the first time a sliding valve. How this sliding valve is working, I want to show you. I have again tried to show you the working principle with a little well, it's not a construction light set with a, with a drawing. Huh? Let's call it drawing. It looks like this. Huh? So we have here our connectors. Here's the one connector. Here's the two connector. Here's the three connector. And here's the four connector. So these are our connectors. Huh? And on the top of the valve, there is a lever. And if I can grab this lever, I can move it to some positions. One position, middle position and other position. Let's keep it there. Yeah? To understand how this valve is working internally, we will now have a look at the parts. Yeah? One part is very simple, it's the cover. Yeah? The cover only holds this lever part in place. Yeah? Remove it. Back. I will also remove now this lever part to have a short look at this part here. Well, you see, you have seen four holes at the side and also here four holes at the top. Okay, so four holes at the top and if we cut this open, it reveals its secret. The holes on the side are simply connected to the holes at the top. Yeah? So it's just 90 degree bent there. Yeah? Nothing, nothing too complicated, let's say. Yeah? So, let's also have a few on the other part. Ooh, I should remove the, the cut. Yeah. Now it's looking familiar again. Yeah, so this is the lever part. Let's watch it from the bottom. Here we do, have, we do see two notches. Yeah. And those two notches are exactly 90 degree. And those two notches are able to connect two holes to each other. Yeah. So they are connecting two holes to each other, or not, depending on the position. Yeah? We will see how this is working if we take a look inside when moving. Yeah? So let's also use this again, make this one a little bit transparent. And here we have it. Okay. Let's see if we can manage that the shading looks pretty nice. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Let's let's take this. Let's take this view. Here you see one, two, three, four. These are the holes. And now currently is connected one to two via this notch here. Yeah. And three and four are also connected. This is one position. Yeah? Three and four, one and two are connected to each other. If I now grab this and move this, you see, starting. Now, now we have sealed this here. Yeah? So in middle position, yeah, everything is sealed. One is sealed, two is sealed, three is sealed, four is sealed. So no connection at all is possible. And in the other position, let's move it further. Yeah? There we see now. Yeah? Do we see it or not? Here we see now 1 and 4 are connected and 2 and 3 are connected via these notches. Yeah? So this is the other, the other uh, location. Huh? 1, 4, 2, 3 is connected. Let's move it again to the other side. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. Middle position nothing is connected to each other. Okay? So, what does it mean if, if I'm using exactly this valve, uh, if I'm using exactly this valve here, uh, by connecting the things, yeah, connecting a double acting cylinder, I could either move it in one direction, I could move it in the other direction, uh, or in middle position, I'm just stopping it wherever it goes. Since if you have a double acting cylinder and you are stopping or you are blocking 
one side air and the other side air, so the air cannot get rid cannot get out of any chamber, it will simply stay where it is. Yeah? Because there is a pressure cushion on one side, pressure cushion on the other side, so it will not move. Since air is a little bit or since air is not a little bit, since air is compressible, yeah, you with force you can manage to move it a little bit, yeah, because then you would compress this one side depending on which direction you want to move. Yeah? You're going to compress the air there a little bit. Yeah? There are also constructions out there where in middle positions all connectors are interconnected to each other. This means the cylinder would be pressureless. This means I could move the cylinder easily. This would hold the cylinder. Other version would simply free the cylinder. Yeah? So this is one working principle yeah? and you see the, the, the ceiling yeah? the ceiling of this stuff this is done by a sliding movement yeah? so it's no longer like a plug yeah? it's sliding it's a sliding opening the, the holes yeah? this is how this looks like okay Now, let's have a look at the symbols, okay? Now we know how the valve works internally. Let's have a look at the symbols and see if this is somehow reflected at the symbol. Okay? So we said we have a valve with three positions now. Okay? So we have three positions and four connectors. So there are now three positions. I will draw them. One, two, three. And in middle position, I will draw the middle position. There is one, there are three, there is two, and there is four. And I said in middle position, everything is blocked. Okay. In one extreme position, one is connected to two and three is connected to four. Yeah? In the other position, one is connected to four yeah? and two is connected to three. Yeah? So that's, that is already the symbol. Okay? Now how it is operated? Operated, there are three positions. Yeah? where we can stop and it's operated by a hand lever. There is no spring load or something like this. Yeah. So we can operate tuck, 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 how we like it. Since there is no rest position because there is no defined position there is no defined rest position, so I cannot mention anything else. Huh? So this is the symbol for exactly that valve. And the other valve I talked about yeah, would have this symbol. The outside symbols would stay the same. Yeah? And here we would maybe look like this. One, three, two, four. And this would be the valve where we can move the cylinder. Yeah? Here we block the cylinder in middle position. First sliding valve. Next time we are still talking about valves uh, and we are talking about the next construction of a sliding valve. A pretty, pretty common construction next time. Uh, working principle. Uh, it's with a piston inside and so on. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, piston and sliding woo, uh, will not be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.